We are now on episode 7 of Hamets no Okoku, and I swear to god, every episode has delivered some sort of plot twist. Dorothy? Dorka? Dor so, people are saying, uh, this new Dorothy, or, or the, the, you know, the Emperor's Queen, like, that, that's been there the entire time. That is actually due to multiverse theory, time travel, stuff like that, because I think Dorka did say in the earlier episodes, I am a witch that's traveled through time to visit you or some shit. So that kind of implies that this is like a different version of Doroka. Of Doroka that I honestly kind of like because she's having to fucking kill everybody, right? But technically, she's, I think she's not for the side of the witches. I'm not really sure what her motivations are, but still, insane plot twist. What are we going to do from here on out? I'm not really sure. I think we're teleporting back, right? I think we're about to teleport back and people are ready to shoot. Or was that the last episode? I don't really know. Let's begin today's reaction, though. Yeah, yeah, this is where we left off. So we're about to part over. And everyone's just ready to shoot. Mm. He put his face mask on! Who is it? And opening. No? Who is it? Maybe we poured it somewhere else? Somewhere else? Another plot twist, I guess. Where'd he go? What other place can take that? What? Another dub for Adonis, I guess. This lady's gonna die soon, too. We've won so many rounds now, actually. Some kind of desert area. Wait, isn't where Chloe and Adonis usually from? Like some kind of desert area before in episode one? Doroka? All right, we got out. But like, what's the plan now? I have no clue. I guess still go back to the kingdom and I guess kill Dorothy. <laughs> Doroka's like shit. He's still on, on about this. What am I? What am I gonna do? <laughs> nah. Fuck him. <'em>. Fuck him. <'em. laughs> <laughs> Yamato's voice! <laughs> the voice acting! I know it's Yamato's voice acting doing it, but you know, seeing his face say it's funny. Yeah, are you? Like, you're, I mean, you're pretty spoiled too. But honestly, I like him being obsessed about revenge, because that's the only reason I'm watching this show. Then they proceeded to attack us. Yeah, we got baited. Yeah, we got baited. Doroka, you know that you got betrayed. What kind of person? Well, the Adonis before, you know, before Chloe died. That's the Adonis that you wanted to know. Not this new one. A bridge? <laughs> we are destroying bridges now. That's how she viewed Adonis all this time? I don't think he gives a fuck, though. Straight up, she doesn't. Yeah. There is just no happy ending out of this, I don't think. Pretty much, yeah, we're going to the bitter end. Good. Don't falter your resolve, Adonis. Good. Where's this feathers coming from? <laughs> I agree! That's the only reason why I'm watching this. Even if he's a... Like a bad main character, whatever you would say, right? Hmm. But what were the witches trying to do to Adonis, though? Exactly. What were the witches trying to do? That and the witches were trying to just use Chloe to reproduce those quills. Adonis isn't wrong either. We're not trying to heal our wounds, though. I don't think we're trying to heal the wounds. <laughs> Be gone, thoughts. My only problem is, what if Doroka becomes the thing that, you know, Adonis could lose? <laughs> what are you trying to do? A hug? Really? A hug? Yourself? Adonis, I guess, right? Himself. Live for yourself. And I, I, you know, what Doroka say here is objectively correct. But again, I don't want Adonis to lose his path of destruction. I just want revenge, even if that's not the right way to do it. Jesus Christ, Doroka, how are you? Oh my God, why are you on top of him? Anyways, don't, don't save me. Don't save me. What? Um. 
Because he's doing this for Chloe. I, I guess that's the logic here. Oh, he's actually opening up. Oh, what the fuck? Adonis being a soft boy right now all of a sudden. If this makes Doroka, you know, empathize, then maybe we're going somewhere. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the wounds. Like, we need to heal him up. He did get stabbed. Like, what about the wounds? <laughs> Who are these dudes? Random bandits? <laughs> I'm not going at it, but it does kind of look like that if, you know, Doroka's on top like that, huh? Mr. Punch? This guy's name is Mr. Punch? <laughs> Resident of the Wasteland, ringleader Punch. Yeah, he looks like a guy named Mr. Punch. Maybe we'll get healed up by these places. I don't know. They actually healed us up. Great. But... Are we, like, slaves here now? What's going on? Oh, Mr. Punch? Oh, you got no clue, buddy. Oh my god, we killed a lot. Mr. Punch! <laughs> you know what? I like his design. It's hilarious. Look at him. He's just fat, rugged, fucking sick glasses. I love this dude. <laughs> I hope he's not someone we have to kill. Look at him. <laughs> he's got like a mohawk. You didn't do anything to her, right? Not really. Okay, okay, she's cool here too. What do you mean dragged her off? I don't think they're evil. I don't think so. It looks like we're able to sustain ourselves though, huh? Just everybody that's escaped. Refugees, slaves, everybody. Okay. There's no reason for Adonis to hate them. In fact, this should be our new home base, to be honest. I mean... I mean, still, it's better than nothing. No, it's not... No, 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 no. Doroka's not being... No, I... I, I we're being misdirected here, right? No, 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 no. I, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. it. It's a lie. It's a lie. Why does he have his phone out? What are they doing? No, it's a misunderstanding. We're getting faked out, right? Surely you're not trying to rape her, right? Mm, Mr. Punch, I thought you were a good guy. They got their phones out, though. No, it's something else, right? Something else in Yeah, we got baited. We got baited. They're not bad people. They're they're all they're all cool here. Okay, okay, I like this place. She's just riding a bicycle. <laughs> this is so weird. All of a sudden, like we're having these chibi comedic moments, even though this show is all about just like fucking genocide. <laughs> what the fuck? She even made that. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I don't know if this is out of nowhere. It's a bit weird, but... This is great, man. Our first drink in 12 hours. <laughs> you know, I like this place. This place is great. I hope we're able to stay here for... Well, we can't stay here for long, though. Because, like, we do have to go out and get back to the Empire and start killing again, but... This is a nice place just to like relax for a bit, you know, for like an episode or two. <laughs> you degenerate! <laughs> Old man. Old man's getting a little bit too horny. Huh? What? What the fuck? What? What about her bus size? Hey, hey, yo, hey, yo, I'm old, I can't. I'm old, I can't help it. <laughs> Smack him up! Oh my god. Wait, no, it's a dumplings. It's a dumplings. It's a dumplings. This fucking freak. I'm old. I can't help it. What an excuse. Now, there is a life that we could just live here in peace, but we can't. We gotta get going, right? We, we can't just stay here. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> kind of, but we're not really girlfriend, boyfriend. <laughs> It says alcohol, right? Wait, wait, wait. Why is everyone dropping? What? Adonis! Bro, did you spike their drink? I don't think Mr. Punch would have done... Wait, wait, wait. He set them up. But this is... Why? Bro, what the fuck, dude? Just... Oh, okay. Magic can do anything. Okay, sure. Huh? What formula? 
A lot of chibi moments out of fucking nowhere in this episode. Now they're good. You're not gonna execute them. Wait, wait, wait. Just, just loot them and move on, bro. Come on. I mean, they have been kind, even though the old man tried to grope you, but you know. He don't give a fuck. Pardons make offenders. Hmm, don't make excuses for them. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just leave. I would say that you are subhuman too at this point, Adonis. Like, don't act like you have some kind of moral superior over them. Or are we gonna ditch Toroka again? Peace, bitch. <laughs> this character, honestly, bro. He's such a dick, but I love it. <laughs> I agree about that, though. They are so different people. Oh, all the laughing was that. I feel so bad for this girl. I feel for that. <laughs> oh my god, I feel so bad for this girl. You're so mean to her. <laughs> How many times have we seen you know, Toroka fall to her fucking knees after I don't say something mean? <laughs> oh my god. He just really left. She just here? Really? That's it? Uh, we got these little lizard things though. They're cute. Yeah, honestly, Mr. Punch, we should be thanking him. He's so nice. That could be a gift. <laughs> He's not wrong. Punch is not wrong. Look, yeah. don't get me wrong. I like what Adonis is doing, but at the same time, I can recognize that he's an absolute asshole. That's why I love him, though. Don't end up like me seems like a message of warning. <laughs> this is some fucked up Stockholm syndrome. <laughs> oh, he's so nice to me, even though... Okay, what he said there is basically saying, you know, don't turn into me, you know? You have a better life you can live. But still, after all that, she interprets it as, oh, he's so kind. <laughs> No, it's Mr. Punch. It's Mr. Punch with Toroka. Chill! Chill! Probably the right way to think right now, but still. He knew? He knew? Mr. Punch probably saw it when Kobe was. He was there! Huh? Wait, we don't know. It wasn't even execution. Chloe saved. What the fuck? Huh? And that is Chloe. What a line. Yeah, revenge. It's not good or bad. It's just like everyone loses. Interesting logic, but sure. Get on the bike. Let's go. Get on the bike. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. They gave her a bike? <laughs> Almost kills him. Well, they actually gave her a bike, but we need a way to, you know, move around. <laughs> that blush won't get to him, right? Yeah, why? Because you have a bike. I can't hear you. You're going. You gotta come back. You're. You. Hello. You're just. I don't think she knows how to turn around and stop. This is actually kind of funny. How she keeps talking while she's going off to the distance. Okay, that was actually probably one of the funniest moments. Mm, he's becoming more and more familiar with her. The smiling and stuff is probably not gonna stop the revenge, but I'm just you know I want the revenge to happen. No, she's gonna keep crying. Don't worry about that. Crazy, Mr. Punching all this time. This is a very chill episode. You know, we gotta have one of these episodes where it's like not balls to the walls, 200% die, 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 right? A nice little respite. Got to Mr. Meet Mr. Punch and the group, and they're all nice. The old guy was a little bit creepy trying to grab Dodoka's titties, but hey, yeah, he's old. Yeah, that, he can't help it, right? Anyways, now we got a bike. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna suspect that we're gonna go back to Radio Kingdom with our bike and then just kill, kill. I don't really know, but hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for even more content, and until next time, take care.